This is your World Fidelity Business News Monday. I'm Altavis Munnings. The Central Bank of the Bahamas announced the continuation of its annual financial sector survey. Launched in the year 2000, the survey expands the coverage to all other important areas of financial sector activity, including credit unions, investment funds, the insurance industry, and corporate and financial service providers. Central Bank officials want to hear from the business community by providing data on your 2016 operations on the forms available on its website. Website. Just log on to centralbankbahamas.com. The deadline for entry is February 10th. Representatives of Anne Bank Bahamas Limited paid a courtesy call on the Minister of Financial Services, the Honorable Hope Strawn, at her offices on West Bay Street last week. The bank's chief executive officer and managing director sat down with the minister, the ministry's permanent secretary, and the ministry's consultants. And in international business news, United States President Donald Trump has fulfilled a campaign pledge by signing an executive order to withdraw from the Trans-Pacific Partnership. The 12-nation trade deal was a part of former President Barack Obama's Asian policy. He also cut funding for international groups that provide abortions and froze hiring of some federal workers. That's your World Fidelity Business News Monday. I'm Altavis Lennox.